In today's video, I'm gonna give you five things that I miss about shooting with my DSLR. What's up everyone, Pete Coco here. I am a photographer in New York and I'm glad that you've joined me today. Now this video is really just for fun, but I wanna talk about five things that I miss about shooting with my DSLR. I upgraded to a Canon R5 a mm, little under a year ago and I love the camera. I waited a long time to upgrade because I was waiting for the right camera for me and I felt like this was it. So I finally made the plunge and put that huge dent into my wallet and upgraded the camera. Part of the reason I waited so long long is because I wanted to wait for Canon to come out with a camera that I felt really did it right and the EOS R didn't seem like the right camera for me at the time so the other reason I waited is because the last thing I wanted to do was jump ship and buy a Sony and although I know they're great cameras and Sony's been cranking out great mirrorless cameras for many years Sony to me is like a camera that looks like a brick that Mark Zuckerberg designed in his basement. So I just couldn't bring myself to switch and I'm glad I waited because I really do love my R5 and it's doing the job excellent for me. Having said that, there are some drawbacks to shooting with a mirrorless camera and if you're one of the DSLR purists who's like, I'm never gonna upgrade, you're gonna love this video. On the other hand, if you're one of those people who ditched your DSLR and you don't miss anything about it, you're probably gonna give me a thumbs down. In either case, I I hope that this video is entertaining in some way, shape, or form. So let's get to those five reasons. Reason number one is that the battery lasted more than 20 minutes. Now, obviously I exaggerate, but let's be honest, the battery life in mirrorless cameras sucks. And I have a Canon mirrorless camera, but also a Fuji X-T4. And I have to tell you that my biggest gripe against these cameras is that the batteries do not last long. In fact, I begrudgingly purchased a Canon grip for my R5 because I got tired of the thing dying in the middle of my portrait sessions. And I didn't want to have to retether and change batteries while I'm in the middle of a shoot. And so I bought that grip. If you want to see my review of that grip, I'll put it in the description below. But needless to say, I didn't necessarily want to spend $350 on a battery grip, which I feel is a ridiculous amount of money. But I felt like I had to because of battery life. In all the years that I shot with my DSLR, I think maybe once I saw the redlining battery light. One time. Other than that, I never even thought about batteries. Now, I find myself being a fearful battery hoarder. I'm constantly worrying and charging. I've got multiple batteries batteries constantly charging and then god forbid I ever leave my studio I'm dragging chargers and batteries and I hate that now obviously the trade-off is because you you know you have two screens and it's much more power intensive I get all that but um I do miss that much better battery life now keep in mind I'm talking really about still photography here not video photography when it comes to video, it really doesn't last at all. But I find with my R5 that if, and with my X-T4 after a couple of hours of shooting, and I'm not talking about continuous shooting, I'm talking about walking around a museum with my family and two hours in or less than that sometimes, I have battery lights coming on. I'm just like, oh man, come on, why? Number two, I miss not having third degree burns on the palms of my hands. All right, so I'm exaggerating yet again here, but I can't even believe how hot these cameras become. They get super hot. I'm surprised at how hot the grip gets and I don't like it. I don't want my hands to be warmed by my camera unless it's a freezing cold winter day. But when it's 100 degrees out and it's summertime, I really don't appreciate the extra heat, especially because I am a hot-blooded Italian to begin with. Here comes a grease ball. Hey. Let's talk about video. The cameras become very hot, as we all know, with video, which leads to overheating. One thing I will say is I haven't had a huge issue with my R5 when it comes to overheating, except recently because I have a very loud air conditioner in my studio. So when I do these videos, I shut the AC off. So it can get a little hot in here. And so I did notice the last couple of times I did videos, I did have a heat warning, but it did not overheat. The number three thing I miss about my DSLR is that it was not at all temperamental. What I mean by this is that even my Canon R5, which is really a workhorse, and my nickname for it now is The Beast, but it's still a little temperamental when I compare it to my 5D3, 
which basically you could have thrown down a flight of stairs and stomped on, and then you could have made fun of it. And it still would have just said, okay, and t taken the picture for you. Sometimes I've noticed in the studio with my R5 that it will freeze up once in a while, and then I have to shut it off and turn it on. With my Fuji camera, I've noticed it's quite temperamental too. Uh, sometimes it doesn't want to read a card. It'll give you a random card error, and then I have to take the cards out and put them back in, and then it's like, no, there's no card error. I was just being temperamental. I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. So I missed the slightly more rugged nature of my DSLR cameras because I didn't feel like I needed to do anything special to gain their love. My DSLRs are like dogs. They love you no matter what. It doesn't matter what you say or do. They're going to love you. My mirrorless cameras, they got a little bit of cat in them. You kind of have to, you know, just deal with whatever mood they're in on a certain day. And I don't like that so much. I'm a dog person. Number four, I miss that my DSLR had a shutter sound that my boomer dad could be proud of. The shutter sound in a mirrorless camera is the most unfulfilling and unsatisfying sound you'll ever hear. And I'm talking about the mechanical shutter. Once you put it on the electronic shutter, you don't even know if you've taken a picture. The camera's just like dancing around like a ballerina. And then you look back at the screen, you're like, oh, I, I have 50 pictures here. I didn't even know. I took a picture with my old camera. It was like, kerplunk, here you go. I took a picture. That's a shutter sound you can be proud of. You can, you can tell your grandkids about that shutter sound. Yeah, there it is. Now, not so much. Now the shutter sound in the R5, it's, it's, it's okay, but it doesn't have that same satisfying mirror slapping, gears moving feeling and sound of my DSLR. Number five, only one darn screen. I miss the old days when my DSLR just had a screen that was stuck in one spot, resolution sucked, and I just barely could even rely on it. But you know what? It was a screen, it did the job. I had an optical viewfinder. I got to just look through that and I didn't have to worry about batteries dying like crazy. And I wasn't concerned about pushing touch buttons on the screen because I'm getting to be that cantankerous middle-aged guy who can't tell one icon from another. And I just liked not having so much screen time. Think about it this way. You get up, what do you do? You look at a screen. You have breakfast. You open your laptop. You look at a screen. You get in your car. You look at the screen. Then you get to work and you pick up your camera. And now you're not only looking at one screen, but two screens on one single device. You go to work. She's there. You go out. She's there. And when you go home, where is she? There. Ding! I'm a little bit screened out, I'm not gonna lie. I miss the world back when there were no screens. You had one screen in your house in the old days. And it wasn't even a screen, it was a giant wooden fixture with tubes in it. No bloody A, B, C, or D. Well, there you have it. There's five things I miss about my DSLR. If you haven't upgraded yet, and you're still using a DSLR, I'm sure you're gonna hit the like button. You're gonna be like, this guy gets it. This is why I'll never get a mirrorless camera. But if you're like me and you're using a mirrorless camera, you're gonna say, this guy's a moron. I would never wanna go back. And I will leave it at that because having said all of these complaints about my mirrorless cameras, there's no way I'd ever wanna go back to using my 5D or any other camera when it comes to my studio work and when it comes to my professional photography. So even though I'm ranting and complaining in this video, it really is just for fun because I would never wanna go back. Once you get used to all of the huge benefits of using a mirrorless camera, it's hard to go back especially when it comes to things like autofocus, ease of use, and quality. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you using a mirrorless? Are you refusing to ever upgrade? Are you like a Sony shooter who's been using mirrorless for a decade now and you're rolling your eyes saying, I can't believe how long it took these Canon people to see what's up. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to gently press that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna know when I'm gonna release my next video, just hit the notification bell because I release them at random times. There's no rhyme or reason at this point. And here's wishing you an awesome day with your camera. Go out and take some cool pictures and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.